Hello again and welcome back. We are doing my thoughts on the new costumes for Halloween heroes. We'll start with Victor. Um, we're not going to go through all this other than the costume bonus, which we'll only do the once. It's a kind of a bit of a shit costume bonus, to be honest. Only 2% on attack and defense, 4 on health and 1 on mana, which isn't much of a help, but it's kind of nice to have, but it's not going to make a world of difference. Uh, deals 100%, 125% damage to the target. He's still very fast. And the target and nearby enemies receive 225 damage over 5 turns. That's not insignificant. Well, I suppose it's quite, quite shit to begin with. It's only about 40 per turn. If a target already has this effect, the duration will be refreshed and the damage will be increased up to 305. Increased by 305. So that would take it to 500 and... 30, which would be about 106 per turn, up to 830 damage in total. Caster steals 51% of any healing, blah, 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 blah. Dog and binaries get minus 24% defense. I think this hero is very good. Because if you can keep him firing, he's just going to keep refreshing that damage, and it's just going to keep getting bigger and bigger. Also, he's stealing their health. And he's given them defense down. It's not a horrifically huge defense down. It's only 24%. But it's better than nothing. And at very fast speed. I think he's very good. I could see him getting used quite a lot. Vanda. Again, very fast. 115. Okay, so her damage is less. And she steals less healing. But it's over three turns, not two. And all allies are immune to new status ailments for three turns rather than two. I, to be honest, would probably rather have the normal Vanda over this costume version. Um, there's not a lot to say in it really. Uh, her stats are basically the same. Um, but I think her special is worse. She does less damage. She steals less healing. And... Yeah. No. It, it's a no from me. Francine. What does Francine do? Okay. that That's the normal one. Okay. So. She still cleanses. She still does 225% damage. But instead of doing extra damage against ice. She gives minus 54% defense against n nature. She does elemental defense down, but just to ice heroes. Which would make her excellent for titans if you don't have a... Uh, an Evelyn or... Uh, oh, what's the bloke's name from season four? Phineas? Uh, yeah, there's not a lot to add to her. I st On balance, I'd probably still rather have the normal Francine. Because the extra damage against ice on attack and defense is going to be better than the minus 54% defense for nature. Oh, sorry. The minus 54% defense for ice heroes against nature. And Frank. Well, I know he's a four star, but fuck it, we may as well. And here we have Baby Scaddy. 170% damage to all enemies. The damage is increased by 45 per dead enemy, exactly like Scaddy. And then stacks. Imagine that all, enemy, all enemies receive 20 frost damage per killed enemy or enemy minion at the end of each turn. And they also get minus 4% mana generation, exactly the same as Scaddy, although a bit less. I think it has 6% and it might be 35 damage, but basically baby Scaddy. I could see Frank being very. being used a lot in a. Uh, the undead tournaments but he is slow speed rather than average so bear that in mind but as a, as four stars go he's pretty good but there isn't that many four star heroes that give minions is there no not that i can think of anyway uh those are my thoughts uh good luck to any of you as you got them or I'll pull in for them because my pulls were shit. But as always, I'll see you next time.